Another story you're setting up for tomorrow, and you were curious <laughs> about, about, about the wind. About yeah. the wind, yeah. I know. That's Every, a tease. <laughs> everybody wants this wind out of here. It's just, it's really been annoying. There usually isn't anything good that comes out of wind here. When it comes to the Bay Area, we get that fire danger, which has been elevated. Thankfully, not extreme because we had so much rain in February. Uh, nonetheless, though, not only wind here, but through a lot of Northern California, even down towards Southern California with these wind gusts, 20 to 50 wind advisory here through 11 a.m tomorrow. Now, if you're heading out tonight, we're still seeing, for example, here in Walnut Creek, some sustained winds at 14 gusts up to 30. It'll stay clear and a uh, little bit blustery here. Once we hit 9 and 10 o'clock with some of those gusts, we're going to be dipping down into the 50s. So let's get this wind out of here. I wanted to show you the weather pattern so you can understand how things are going to be playing out for us. And really through tonight and tomorrow, uh, the pattern stays the same. We have high pressure to the north, low pressure to the south. It's really dragging this wind right across Northern California, but once we hit late, late tomorrow night and really through this weekend, both of these weather systems are going to start to move. High pressure goes more to the north, low pressure to the east, and that basically just moves it out of our zone. So we're going to stay with some warm weather for this weekend and really little in the way of wind and lots of sunshine. So your Saturday and Sunday, it is shaping up excellent. Let's take you into that wind forecast here as we roll through tonight. Still looking at those gusts of 20 to 50, especially in the mountains coming out of the north east. We hang on to that here for most of the Bay Area through tomorrow morning. May get up to still 50 miles per hour in Napa, 36 Santa Rosa, 32 in San Francisco, and 38 in Oakland. And then as we roll through tomorrow afternoon, a lot of that wind subsides. It's going to be good to just uh, see that gone. Now as we head through tomorrow morning's forecast, when that wind does kick up, it'll be blustery out here. Mix of 40s and 50s down to 49 for the South Bay, 45 in the Tri-Valley. San Francisco have you at 51 and 48 for the East Bay. Temperatures for tomorrow because it is that dry northeasterly wind. It's going to warm us up. So uh, with that wind calming down by the afternoon, I think this is going to make it a really nice, uh, you know, time around 2, 3, and 4 o'clock. We'll be up to 74 in Santa Rosa, 73 in Concord. Similar to the 70s for the South Bay, 72 Palo Alto, even 72 in San Francisco. And here's the thing. Through this weekend, we're going to stay with weather just like this. Check out this 10-day forecast here in Concord on Sunday, 72 to Monday 75, Tuesday 74. Then we dip it down to some 60s as we head into next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Eventually, that's going to help to lead to some rain chances. Doesn't look like a big storm system, but we may start to get into some more rain as we head into uh, maybe March the 23rd, which would be not this weekend, but the following weekend. We'll keep our eyes on that. Otherwise, I know everybody is focused in on Saturday and Sunday. We've had few weekends where the weather has been totally dry or not disruptive. So uh, we're going to slide in with some nice weather. We have more looks of this, of course, coming up at 530. I'm already thinking of so many things I'm going to be doing outside this weekend. You and many others. Right? <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Yeah.